Alright, guys, welcome to the next part of my Let's Play Chrono Trigger, episode 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, I don't care. Yeah, it's the Masa Moon. Eh. You pronounce the E or is it E silent? Let's get some backstory. I love backstory. Don't you love backstory? Yeah. Glenn used to look like. Who's that guy from Final Fantasy VI? Luck. Something about him reminds me of Luck. Maybe it's his adolescent appearance. Nirvana Strike. There's a movie as called Nirvana Strike. And it doesn't even kill them, it just scares them off. Nigga died right there. And he went up in flames. Maybe you have had something more to protect you other than your mom's sleeveless jean jacket. You could have had a chance, man. You gotta prepare for this shit. I think a gun turn into a frog. <laughs> they were so bored by your backstory that they fell asleep. What the fuck is that? But seriously, when did you get the Old English dialect or vernacular? Who should I use more? We gotta go through this bullshit. Let's see if there's anything nice I can equip to Frog. Okay, this significantly raises his...
This vest raises his defense up so high it's not even funny. 29 points. The power glove. Okay, he loses a little bit of strength, but I'm pretty sure he needs the health more. This guy is going to be such a powerhouse anyway, because he's got a sword too. And let's not forget, he also has like so many techs and team moves. I want to do this again. Yeah. Why are they gossiping over there? I love that move. That move is my shit. It's one of the first double attacks and it's also one of the coolest. Hopefully when he levels up, he can learn more cool shit. I'm going to ignore the main quest for now. Let me upgrade this guy. Hell yeah, we have frog in the cut. Let me do one more for good measure since I didn't pay attention. As usual, I don't count. Somehow that's both annoying and cool.
I want to play defensive and offensive. I should get water sword. Okay. We're going to bring some more heads. I guarantee you. Now where are we supposed to go? Oh, we're supposed to go after Magus now. Okay, so we have the opportunity to gain ending number eight, which I really don't want. And I'm not about a level grind for that bullshit. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the magic cave. This game is a lot smaller than I expected without the seven side quests, so this sort of came to me as a shock. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with them. Do 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 So where does magic cave? It's right there. You got Miley Cyrus saving your ass? Yeah, I know it hurts when you get hit. Cyrus is basically telling Glenn, yeah, you need to stop being a pussy. <laughs> I 
Because it's always recruiting their friends to get killed. Same thing happened to me last year. Real friends send other friends to like die with them. What happened to his jean jacket? Did that materialize out of him? Do we even use uh, Masa Moon after that? I guess we have that shit permanently equipped for this whole operation. Not that I would unequip it since it is really strong. Scratch that. Sword stream, what's that? Is that like a water sword thing? Well, they couldn't say water swords since that would sound lame. So they said sword stream. Well, at least some modicum of coolness is retained. I'm going to save this for later, just so that I can keep you wanting more. I'm not going to Magus' crib just yet. Look at this. Nah. Not now. So this is Mr. Wonka 7. And suck my dick. Okay...